I'm Alani. I'm a senior Girl Scout and also a member of the National G Team. We are planning the convention in Orlando, Florida for the 2020 convention. Hope to see you guys there. I am from Washington and the Council of Eastern Washington and Northern Idaho. It's this tiny little area up in the corner. Today we're going to take on the design challenge from the Ambassador Think Like an Engineer journey. At the end of the video, you'll know how engineers solve problems and you'll engineer a new piece of mobility equipment to help other people. The challenge will take about 50 minutes to complete with 10 minutes of prep and 10 minutes of cleanup. For this challenge, you will need a two by three sheet of cardboard, one sheet of poster board, five rubber bands, four brass fasteners, two pieces of felt, a roll of string, scissors, a roll of tape, five rolls of cardboard, one notebook, and a writing utensil. For any of the items, they can be easily replaced with anything that you have in your house. For example, the tape can either be packing tape or duct tape, and the brass fasteners can be substituted with the tack. Now let's get started on the design challenge, trying out different ideas to see that what works is something that engineers do. Mobility equipment is technology that has been designed to help people with mobility impairments move from one place to another. It gives users greater independence and control over their day-to-day -day lives by providing them with the freedom of movement. Mobility equipment includes mobility aids like crutches, wheelchairs, as well as artificial limbs and prosthetics. Today you'll be hired as a rehabilitating engineer to prototype a new piece of mobility equipment for an amputee. Your equipment will need to help them move from place to place. A prototype is a quick way to show an idea to others or to try it out. It can be as simple as a drawing or it might be made from materials that you can find around the house like cardboard, string, and rubber bands. But how do you go about engineering a prototype? Well, engineers go through certain steps to solve problems. Those steps are called the design thinking process. First, engineers identify a problem. You just found out what your challenge is. That's the first step of the design thinking process. Next, engineers come up with different ideas on how to solve the problem. As they think about all the different possible solutions, they make sure to think about the criteria and constraints of the designs. Criteria are things designs need to accomplish. They are the goals of a four prototype. Constraints are the ways the designs is limited. For example, there might be only certain amounts of time you have to build your prototype or limited amounts of material to make it. After engineers look at different possibilities for their design, they pick one idea to, for the prototype. Once they've built it, they test their design to see how well it works. Then they might make changes to the prototype based on what they've learned. You'll go through the same steps to build your prototype, identify the problem, brainstorm the plans, build and test and then improve. Now that we've identified the problem, we're trying to solve the design challenge. We need an engineer a prototype for a new mobility device for amputees, but we need a plan. Just like the engineers, you need to create a plan and keep it in mind the criteria and constraints of your design. The criteria for the challenge is that your prototype must, one, help the user move from one side of a room to the other, two, be comfortable for the user, and three, be easy and convenient for people to use. It can either attach to the user like a prosthetic limb or be a new product like a mobility aid for the user. The constraints is that you can only use your challenge materials including the cardboard string, felt, sheets of felt, rubber bands, brass fasteners or tacks, poster boards, and cardboard tubes. So spend a few minutes brainstorming the design of your mobility equipment. Sketch your ideas on a sheet of paper. Don't be afraid to try out features both possible and impossible. It might help to ask yourself questions like, what sorts of equipment do people use to move from place to place? What features of the equipment work for your user? Does special equipment already exist? How can you improve them? What features might your user want or need? What materials could you use? What parts does your prototype need? What mechanism, if any, will your prototype have? Once you have some ideas, Choose one to turn into a prototype, then use your plan and materials to build your mobility device. As you build, feel free to try lots of different ideas to see what works and what doesn't work. Remember the goal is to practice thinking like an engineer, not to make a perfect mobility device. When you think you have a finished prototype, test it and see how well it works. Before you start testing, what do you think will happen? Will your prototype be able to meet the criteria? Take a guess. 
Then find if you are right. Test your prototype by trying out and walking around the room. During the test, you may find things that work and others that don't. After testing, make sure to ask yourself, how can I improve the prototype? Then improve it using what you've learned. Once you have the new version, test the new prototype again and see if it, this change has worked. Once you've created any type of prototype, you can share it with others. They can help you think of new ideas and look for other ways to make your prototype even better. If you wanted to continue making changes, you might redesign or add features to your equipment that can help users travel on different surfaces of terrain. For example, what would you add to help with sidewalk ice in the winter? What could you add to help someone living on a farm with lots of soft dirt and grass? What additional features or mechanisms will you need to add for each condition? After the design challenge, it's a good idea to think about what you have learned, what you liked or what you didn't like, and what you might want to add next. So once you're done with the testing your prototype, you might want to ask yourself, what did you find enjoyable or difficult about the challenge? What did you learn? What do you want to learn next? What other problems could you solve with the design thinking process? Could you see yourself being an engineer? And that's it. You've completed the design challenge from the Ambassadors Think Like an Engineer journey. You've learned about the design thinking process and used the steps to engineer a new mobility device. If you had fun with this design challenge, check out the other activities in the Think Like an Engineer journey. Or explore more about engineering and computer science with the robotics badges. If you like this video, please share it with another girl. And if you aren't a Girl Scout, please join us. You can go to girlscouts.org to learn more. Thanks for watching. Milani from the Northwest signing out.